welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello students, welcome to Business Studies Online Classes. Uh, friends, in the previous class we have studied about the classification of products that is uh, consumer goods, that is consumer products and uh, industrial products, right? Now let us move on to the next part that is uh, the next part of the first element of marketing mix that is a uh, product. The concept is now branding. What is branding? What is a brand? So let us make a distinction uh, between different terms that we uh, use. Branding means assigning a name, symbol or a figure or any combination of these. We select the goods by seeing the brand. Whether it is branded people will accept the uh, brands, though it is a bit higher uh, value, isn't it? It is having more value, still we prefer uh, there is a branded goods. We can buy a shirt by paying maybe 200 rupees or uh, 300 rupees, but why Alan Solly, isn't it? Peter England, we go for that because we trust the quality that is provided by these brands. So brand is a letter symbol, name, picture or figure or any combination of these which is given to the product that is assigned to the product either on the package or on the product itself that is called a brand. See when you, why branding is required, the rationale behind uh, branding or the objective behind branding is when you Go to a shop, if the shopkeeper says, your shirts, these are the shirts, select any shirt. How do you feel then? You are not that much quality aware. Nowadays, especially ladies, they are very, that is a quality uh, aware, isn't it? They have the awareness of the quality. They will say by seeing the sari itself, they will say, this is of this quality. Isn't it? And they will see for the, that is a color, work and all those things, many things are there. Sometimes they never know what they want to buy. They remain confused. Isn't it? So that is, uh, for that reason, branding is required. When you brand a product, then you can select the same quality and you can get the same quality every time. Even in case of grocery items. Branded one, Britannia, when you buy biscuits, isn't it? Parleji, there's a good day is there, Parleji, or um, uh, Britannia, isn't it? So different brands are there, you will go for that. Why? Because you know the quality of that product. You never go for any other products. Some uh, cheaper, there is a value biscuit, or uh, quality biscuits are available. Good quality, having cheaper price. But still you are not, not going for that because it is manufactured by local manufacturer. Who knows, the quality may be better than that. Sometimes what happens, the textile, especially in case of uh, cosmos cities like Bangalore, if you purchase a textile article, textile product or any cloth for that matter, when you buy it on the roadside, on the footpath, the quality may be better than that you purchase in a showroom. Why they are ready to offer at a cheaper rate. When someone offers it at a cheaper rate, uh, there is a psychological effect on the consumer's mind, customer's mind that this may be of poor quality. Why they offer it at a cheaper rate? Because they need not have, they never apply AC, they never pay the that's a rent, only a small tax to the uh, local that is a Mahanagara Palika, a tax may be paid, <coughs> then no need of any electricity or that is uh, uh, sales people are not required, the person alone will stand somewhere, isn't it, arranges all the clothes around him, 
and he shouts doesn't it 300 300 300 like this then people will come they will see and they will buy the product the same product if you buy in a showroom air conditioned showroom they may charge 500 or 600 but we have the there is psychology that when we buy in a good showroom the quality is better who knows friends so for this reason branding is required to distinguish the product of one manufacturer from that of the rival or the competitor competitors product should be identified and our product should be identified especially by the customer so that when they are ready to identify then they will prefer the same brand product like in soaps different that is uh, names are there like by hammam lace and see or dove isn't it so you have to select your brand you will go to shop and you will ask for life by only you will not ask for any of the soaps the soap is the generic name it is not a brand remember your soap is a generic name or textile isn't it sari is generic name when you go for crm or uh, any other there's a vimal isn't it gwalior then it is brand you are selecting you are accepting a particular brand and you will prefer a particular brand so the product having a generic name like pen there are different that is uh, types of pens brand imitation is also there like um, a rotomac isn't it renolds uh, around uh, 10 to 15 years that brand was very famous uh, Reynolds 045 Reynolds fine uh, cargo isn't it later people started this uh, other manufacturers they started imitating that brand someone comes out with 040 045 is the Reynolds and 040 Reynolds brand imitation or 045 uh, rayons or Reynolds why is removed isn't it so in such things which makes the uh, mind of the consumer to get diverted and if the pen is bit cheaper than the Reynolds then people may prefer that so branding is so very 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 important so here let us know what is a brand a name symbol sign or any combination of these attached to a product on the package itself or on the product is called a brand then generic name means the name for the whole class of product name for the whole class of product is called the generic name it is not a brand when I say pen it is the generic name when I say saris it is the generic name when I say rice it is the generic name when I say wasn't it Wimmel Gwalior then it is uh, the brand it is the brand it is not generic name when I say uh, Reynolds Reynolds isn't it then it is the brand name not the generic name now let us move on to the next this term that is used brand name brand name is which can be spoken is called a brand name brand name is the verbal com verbal verbal component of a brand you can show you can write all these things when it is uttered when it is spoken that is brand name it is brand name then brand mark like a, a symbol design or color or anything isn't it that is given on the package you cannot utter it you cannot utter it it's just a color of the uh, that is a, like um, uh, elephant isn't it favicol you might have seen elephant will be there as, as the there is a brand mark isn't it trademark so that is called that is a brand mark and what is trademark when the brand gets legal protection any part of the brand is received legal protection or any part of the brand is given legal protection it amounts to trademark it is called trademark so trademark brand brand name isn't it brand mark all these are a bit different from one another let me repeat it again 
brand is the name symbol or design or combination of these which are given to identify the product brand name is brand name is the verbal component verbal component when we utter it that is called brand name britannia lacency isn't it that is brand name then brand mark is when we see a particular mark we will come to know that this is of this company this is of this brand that is brand mark maybe a design or uh, that is a maybe a picture of uh, any animal or bird or anything else isn't it then trademark is when the brand gets or any part of the brand gets legal protection when it is registered then it is called a trademark trademark now let us know why branding is required what are the benefits that derives if a brand is registered isn't it or when a branding is made to the product what are the advantages that the uh, that we derive uh, let us analyze in two ways one is to the manufacturer another one is to the customer to the marketer or the manufacturer product differentiation merits of branding they may ask you in examination to the marketers or the manufacturers first one product differentiation product differentiation what do you mean by product differentiation just by seeing the package itself you will come to know that this is of this brand by branding the product by applying a different color package by designing something on the package by uh, applying a picture on the package the customer immediately will come to know that this is my brand this is my product this is my requirement <coughs> am i correct so product differentiation is possible for the marketer marketer can tag it in a proper way only britannia that is a uh, uh, vita mari biscuits together or good day biscuits together isn't it or any other biscuit for that matter uh, new biscuits how have, have been introduced now choco fill something i don't know that you know better than me isn't it so those can be tagged in on the rake in a proper way systematically by the seller so that the customer can come and identify his brand very easily and he can buy the product so product differentiation is one of the benefits of branding second one is helps in advertising and display programs helps in advertising and display programs what do you mean by display that is a maybe showroom display window display isn't it when products are arranged systematically which are visible from outside itself when the uh, person uh, goes in a uh, in the in that street is attract he gets attracted towards the product in such a way it will be arranged behind glass window there will be glass you cannot remove the product you cannot touch the product but you can see the product from outside when you pass through a busy street you you some products gets attracted towards you isn't it because of the display made by the seller when you see the product immediately it will tempt you to go inside and to check the product once you check the product definitely you will go for a deal you will go for purchase deal when your pocket if you your pocket permits then definitely you will go for it isn't it so when the products are properly branded then it can be arranged in such a way that all the products of a particular manufacturer or a particular marketer will be arranged in a systematic way so that it can be easily sold it is like an advertisement when you display it in a proper way window display is done or showroom display is done definitely it is like an, an advertising silent salesman isn't it that is the <coughs> second benefit to the that is a uh, marketer third one is <coughs> differential pricing differential pricing when a product is branded it is rest assured that it is of qualitative because branding is not that easy when you maintain a particular brand you should make sure that 
the quality of the product should not get deteriorated because you will be identified by the customer. Britannia, Vitamari is not good. Good day, don't go, go for it. Glucose, Parleji, don't go for it. Like that, uh, negative rumors will come. It is a very big, uh, that is a, a remark on the manufacturer and the sales immediately will decline. But actually, the quality of Britannia, Vitamari is good or Parleji is good or um, something. Isn't it? When they accept, then they will be the advertisers for you. Customer, a satisfied customer is a, the best advertiser. Rather than your, uh, that is a uh, advertisement you are giving to the customers, instead of that, make the customer happy, he will be the best advertiser for you. So that is uh, another. Here, branded products, even if you charge higher price, it will be sold in the market. Because people know that the quality of the branded products are good. So what they will do? The seller, the seller will charge low price for the for unbranded goods and the branded goods will have, will have will be having a bit higher price even then it will be sold in the market. So that is the benefit for the seller to charge different rates for branded and unbranded goods, non-branded goods, isn't it? Last one is ease in introduction of new products. Introduction of new products. It is very easy for the seller to introduce new products in the market. Why it is? Because branded goods when it is displayed, it is branded when you say it is enough for the buyer because everything will be there on the package. The content of the product, isn't it? The, uh, uh, those components which are added in the product, all these will be displayed on the package itself. MRP will be there, customer care uh, service, there is a customer service number will be there, toll free number will be there, isn't it? Everything will be there on the package itself so that the product easily can be introduced in the market. If it is not branded, then the people may not accept the customers, the prospects, they may, may not as accept the product because they need some sort of assurance. When you will buy a product, when you have some information about the product or when you trust the company, the company is already um, has introduced many products and all the products are super quality, isn't it? Then don't you uh, trust that company? You will trust. When that company brings out one more product, definitely you will buy. Like Tata's, isn't it? If they bring some product, it is rest assured that it is good of good quality. So you will buy the product. So this is another merit of branding uh, for the that is, marketers or the producers. And to the consumers, what are the benefits? There are only three points. Let me explain. Product identif identification to the consumers. What are the benefits? Product identification. Of course, when you reach the market, you will say, isn't it? Um, I want that biscuit. Give me that. Sometimes name is they, name may not be known, but still they will they will come to know about the product by seeing the color design on all this on the wrapper. A kid demands for chips, isn't it? A lays maybe there is a, a potato wafers. Different brands are there. Child will come out with no, I want this. Most of the times they see the color. The best color will be attracted by, by, to the kid, and the parents have to buy it, isn't it? So you have to design the package in such a way that it is a branded one and along with that it attracts the customer. So product identification is very important. Uh, this helps the consumers in identifying their branded product. Like Life Boy, they will buy, they will see, I want Life Boy, isn't it? Or Lace and See, or Dove, or whatever the name you call. That is liked by the consumers. Second one is ensures quality. I already told you the branded products they have best they are the best quality products because once you brand it you will be identified by the customers and they will label you whether your product is good or not if they say good fine done you will be advertised like anything and your products will be sold like anything and you can earn bumper profits but if the customer comes out with a remark the product is not good that is gone. Your sales will decline, your profit margin will decline and ultimately one day may come 
and you have to close down the shutters of your business that day may come so for that reason the branded gods uh, products always will have that is a good quality ensures quality of the product third one is status symbol status symbol of course some people they have the habit of buying only branded goods isn't it shoe that's that the uh, adidas isn't it or uh, uh, maybe peter england shirt maybe 2000 3000 rupees by paying that there are some shoes uh, costing rupees 30 40 50000 when you wear people will see and though the person has no uh, income for eating food also but still some people they have the habit of uh, making their appearance very good by wearing uh, that is costly dresses or sometimes that is uh, uh, buying branded goods as a status symbol uh, like Gujaratis they buy Alf Alfonso that is a branded mango isn't it just before the start of the rainy season once the rain starts they will not buy it that is their status and these are that is uh, the uh, family members these are especially females they will have that is a, a casual chatting in the evening isn't it and they will discuss how much value mango you have you you people ate this time they will have the calculations and they will give order they will give the visiting card the seller he will send his person messenger isn't it the person uh, to their doorsteps and when he presses the call bell and gives that hands over the uh, that's a basket of uh, mangoes it is the status symbol for them maybe one mango uh, costs around 500 rupees it does, never mind maybe a oh, dozen costs uh, 6000 rupees something like that at the beginning of the season isn't it mango season so this is this ensures quality they think that when we wear branded uh, that's uh, uh, goods or when we consume branded products it is our status people will assess us in a different way that is aristocratic family isn't it so this is about uh, the branding i will take up the features of a good, good brand name in the next class uh, take down assignment what are the benefits what are the benefits or advantages benefits or advantages of branding of branding to the marketers to the marketers submit assignment on time don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates